G'day guys, it's the 16th of December 2016 and I am two nights through doing night shift at my corporate job and I've got seven consecutive nights of night shift uh, from 8.30 at night to 7 in the morning and you know, I've just woken up, it's uh, one, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon and I've just woken up so finish at 7 a.m. and then I get home at 7.30 then I sleep and usually for five six hours and then I wake up so that's why I sound a bit tired um, so I've already done two nights and I've got five more nights to go so I've been doing my uh, meal planning you know um, for this competition um, as per normal but I've just switched everything around so that my you know, lunch becomes my midnight dinner and my afternoon snack becomes my 2 a.m. snack and my last meal before bed becomes my breakfast at, you know, 6 a.m. in the morning. So it is something that I'm used to doing. I've done this before. I've been doing night shift now for a number of years and so it's something that I'm very used to doing. So that change uh, in my the, the timing of my meal plan, um, that, that transition into night shift is something that I'm used to doing anyway. Um, however, it has been a bit challenging at night, usually around um, two, three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning when I'm most tired, that's when I feel most hungry. And so for me, all I've been doing is been drinking lots of water and um, you're just kind of riding it out. So there's some challenging times during night shift that I have to go through when it's really, really quiet anyway. So the, uh, you know, once this night shift is finished, then that is it. I don't have any more night shift between now and March next year when I compete. And so I don't have to go through this extra challenge because it is a bit more challenging doing night shift and um, doing the meal planning thing. And, you know, I'm sitting at a desk I'm idling, I'm not doing anything. And when you're in a calorie deficit and you're idling um, and you know, you're not busy, then it's a lot easier to think of food and think of why you're hungry. So it's the 16th of December, 2016. And about an hour ago, I finished my posing class with Ben and Penny was there as well. And Penny was kind of helping with the process and um, giving feedback as well. Ben was showing me the poses. And very challenging, very, very difficult. And I was sweating when I was doing those poses. And it looks like it's easy when you see the guys on stage posing. But when you're out there doing it yourself and, you know, going through those poses yourself, it's a lot more challenging. And for me, I have very poor flexibility in some parts of my body. And so it's very hard for me to twist my torso, which is required to do some of the poses correctly. So I found it really tough. You know, there are small changes that need to be made everywhere. And so, you know, the whole, everything from breathing and you know, tensing your abs and tensing everything, tensing your abs the whole time and breathing through your chest as opposed to through your stomach. And that in itself is really challenging. And then maneuvering from one pose to the next. And, you know, in that, during that transition, you are breathing a certain way and it's, it, you know, and that's coordinating all that is really challenging. And, you know, if you, flex a certain way on a certain angle, you'll bring out more of a lat or more of a certain muscle. And that kind of concept is, you know, it's, um, it's very technical. This is very technical. I never thought, I just thought our oh, posing is just kind of, you just pose. And um, I didn't really think of how much effort is required for this to really work. And, and, um, and I'm starting to appreciate now just how challenging it is. And that for me, it's more challenging than actually doing the nutrition and the training side of things and, and being consistent with that. The posing is certainly the most challenging aspect of this journey for me so far.